Welcome to the Sleepy Storybook, a soothing sleep meditation for kids to take a delightful journey and see how magnificent reading can truly be. Because this is no ordinary bedtime story, as you are about to very soon discover. For when you read, you really can travel to the most splendid places. So be sure to keep an open mind as you listen in very carefully, because the most wacky and wonderful dreamy surprises are about to happen along this most relaxing meditation journey. So just close your eyes as you begin to switch off from today. But be sure to switch on your imagination. You do this by seeing images and pictures in your mind's eye. And by believing in yourself that what you see is absolutely perfect. So, keeping your eyes gently closed, I would first like you to picture and see your local library. Picture the library building from the outside. And now see yourself visiting the library inside. You are wandering through and looking at the many shelves of books. Because your library feels like a warm and welcoming place and is quietly exciting because there are so many amazing stories all around you. It sounds so lovely and quiet here so peaceful. So you decide to take some deep belly breaths, breathing in through your nose and relaxing your body as you breathe out, feeling so safe in this calming sanctuary. And you just enjoy Breathing in and out. As you keep breathing deeply here, you can smell the comforting scent of books, both the musty old ones and the fresh new ones. And this fills you with a cosy sense of comfort. In the very back corner of the library, you hide away and sit down on the fluffy carpet. And here you have a good look through a storybook shelf you have never searched before. And to your delight, you see books about dreams and adventures to far away exotic places. Until suddenly, you notice something poking out from underneath this shelf on the floor. So you look closer and see what appears to be the corner of a big book. Hidden under there, placed well out of sight for some strange reason. So feeling very curious, you reach your hand underneath and pull. But this book is very heavy, so you reach down with both arms now and pull hard with all of your might. And suddenly the book slides out in a thick cloud of dust. To your surprise, you hear a coughing sound. 
you wipe the dust away from the cover with both hands and you were so surprised to see the book's cover has a friendly face that looks half asleep. And as you wipe away more dust, you read the book's title out loud. The Sleepy Storybook. And now instantly, the book's face wakes up and comes to life. It coughs and coughs in a swirl of sparkling dust. And then its face relaxes and crinkles into a warm and happy smile while you gaze down in astonishment. It is an old and weathered face, leathery and kind, with smiling lines around its eyes and lovely wrinkly skin, like the friendliest grandfather face in the entire world. And now it speaks. Why, thank you. I could barely breathe with all of that dust over all of those years. Would you please read the first page and help me come back to life? And so you turn to the first page, which is yellowed with age and covered in old worldly artwork of vines and roses. These words look like they have been hand painted by a delicate brush in pure gold. As you read aloud, your voice quivers with excitement. Welcome to the Sleepy Storybook, a book of adventures dreams and fun, for as soon as you begin to read, the magic's just begun. And all of a sudden, this ancient book truly comes to life. In a dazzle of enchantment, with twinkles of light everywhere, it sprouts arms and legs, and now dances about in a happy little jig. Why, thank you again. You're a wonderful reader. And did you know that I can fly? Let's go on a storybook adventure through the sky. And to your delight, you watch on as its pages flap for it to fly. This magic book hovers up into the air and invites you to hold on. And for a moment you wonder if this is really happening. So you look around and see the librarian there stacking shelves and other people quietly reading. But they don't seem to notice anything unusual. And you realise they simply can't see the sleepy storybook's magic. Only you can. So with a deep breath, you climb onto this big, sturdy, ancient book and hold on tight. Its pages flap more and more as it floats through the aisles of the library. And now higher and higher towards the roof. And suddenly, the sleepy storybook flies up through the skylight and out into the open air. And now you are soaring through the sky, as if on a magic book carpet. Wow!
You never knew reading could be this amazing. For this incredible storybook explains, all you have to do is read its never-ending pages, and it will take you to the most marvellous places imaginable. So you turn to a page and read about the misty mountains and mythical creatures. And instantly the book flies you straight there, through the fluffy clouds, to this magical world where anything is possible. And as you soar through the air, you see a happy village under a rainbow, with a gorgeous waterfall in the land below. And a mystical wizard's tower, up so high in these misty storybook mountains. And you spot friendly, fluffy, flying creatures you have never seen before. And a sense of peace fills your heart. What else do you see in this enchanting land down below you? All you have to do is read on to explore some more and find out what will happen next. And you discover that this kind-hearted storybook just loves to help you with your best reading. So if there are any long or tricky words, it will teach you how to say them. So this really is pure fun, and the coziest, happiest reading adventure ever. And you turn to another enchanted page and read of a desert island with beautiful blue waters, dolphins, and hidden treasure chests. And with another flap of its brilliant pages, the sleepy storybook flies you through the fluffy clouds once more to fly high above this stunning little treasure island in the calming ocean. And you are free to explore this island if you so wish. Or turn to another magnificent story and go there right now instead. It is entirely up to you. Just keep reading and the sleepy storybook will guide you through the clouds of time to be inside any story you choose. And this friendliest storybook is even more brilliant too, because it will help you have wonderful dreams every bedtime whenever you start to feel really tired. So you have some special time now 
to keep enjoying the wonders of reading with your flying book friend and to travel to the dreamiest places wherever you wish to go and see whatever you wish to see right now. Have fun and when my voice returns, the sleepy storybook will guide you home to fall fast asleep.
after enjoying these magnificent storybook adventures, you are feeling very tired and ready to drift off to sleep. And so, the sleepy storybook smiles kindly and flies you back home now, back through the magical clouds and all the way into your bedroom. And here, you float back down and crawl into bed, feeling so very sleepy, but also with a heart full of joy. You wave goodbye to your kind-hearted old friend, this amazing sleepy storybook. and its happy face wrinkles into a heartwarming smile. As it flaps its pages, it flits out the window and away into the open air. And you remember that you can rediscover this magical book for more Dreamtime adventures, anytime you wish. And so, you shift into a deeper and deeper sleep now, with your happiest dreams of splendid stories, and feeling so confident that you are a great reader and that reading really can take you on the most marvellous adventures anywhere in the whole entire world. And always feeling so special, safe and loved. Sweet dreams, dear one, and good night.